ILS is Connie. He said he'd stop in for one drink. Hello, Connie. Hello, Meister. You see, I haven't forgotten. What? Your favorite. Martini with vodka. I think it's time you'd show up. Thanks. You're looking very well, Connie. You're looking very well, Connie. <laughs> That's not for me, Maestro. I knew you. And now you don't know me. I've changed, married, stayed, and sober. You'll never change, Charles, and you know it. Why didn't you call me? Why haven't I met your wife? What's she like? No, no, don't you tell me. Johnny, what's she like, really? Well, since he's probably will be the only significant word I speak all evening, listen. Anne is wonderful. She's beautiful. Like other beautiful women, I'm not. Yes, sir. Here's to Anne. But if she's all of that friends, why keep her locked up? Why don't we ever see her? Yeah, she's a little lost, Connie. Give us time. She'll venture out. And, uh, would you care to venture out? Mm-hmm. Tonight? With Johnny and me? We're going to Dee Dee's. Sorry. Franz is going home for dinner. Yes, of course he is, but it's hours before dinner time. Oh, come along, Franz. Dee Dee would never forgive you. Neither would I, for that matter. Dee Dee wants to see him. Let him buy a ticket to a con. And I'll take it easy, Johnny. Don't you see what Connie's trying to do? She's turning on her charm, her own particular variety. Aren't you, Connie? Maestro, you're a louse. <laughs> you're right, of course. I'm daring you to go. And I'd like to see what happens. Exactly what happens. And so would you. And so I think I'll see Dee Dee and then go home. Certainly. You approve, Johnny? Oh, sure, sure. Well, watch out, friend. Of Connie, Dee Dee. Ah, of me. Yes, sir. Here's to Anne. Johnny. Hello, Anne. Uh, can I come in? What do you think? I think you should throw me out. I haven't been very attentive. <laughs> Something of an understatement. And I'm thoroughly ashamed. You know, I haven't seen you or friends for over a month. Where have you been? What's wrong? Oh, I've been around. Busy, I guess. Where's Franz? Isn't he home yet? Huh? Oh, didn't he reach you? You mean I've come to the wrong house? Me and my big appetite? Oh, Johnny, I'm terribly sorry. Franz called an hour ago, said he wouldn't be through till late. He left word at your apartment. Oh, it's my fault. I didn't go home. Well. Drink, Johnny? No, thanks. I guess I'd better be running along. Oh, please stay a minute. I'm worried about you. That's good. But why? Well, you and Franz used to be such close friends, and now you never come to see us. What is it? Is it something I've done? You. Well, then what is it, Johnny? Why have you been staying away? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I know. A girl. Johnny, that's that you're in love. Written all over me, huh? Well, what's the matter with you? Go after her. Maybe I don't know how. Well, then I'll teach you. I'll be the girl and, uh, well, you ask me to dinner and I'll say I did have an engagement, but I- I'll break it for you. That's simple, huh? Well, maybe not that simple, but you can take me out to dinner. After all, I did dress up for your benefit. Well, fine, but, uh... But what? Son? Oh, that's easy. Afterwards, we'll pick him up at rehearsal. Look, I'll tell Albert we're leaving, and then I'll be just a minute. Uh, call up Rico's and get a table. Rico's? Then I'll be reasonable. I mean, it's too expensive. Uh... Oh, no. We've got to celebrate. Son's always promised to take me to Rico's. Hmm. Hello, Rico. Well, this is Mr. Lawrence. Look, has Mr. Roberti come in tonight? You sure? Well, does he have a reservation for later on? Okay, well, look. Do you have a table for two and about... No, skip it, Rico. I've changed my mind. Thanks. Anne? Yes? You'll have to forget Rico's. No tables. You took no for an answer. It's enough to make a woman lose confidence in you, Johnny. Look, I'll show you how it's done. Anne... The man just said there weren't any tables. Well, you just spoke to the wrong man. Yeah, now, listen. Hello. Hello, this is Mrs. Franz Roberti. I'd like a table for two, please. Oh, about 20 minutes, I guess. That's right. Thank you. There. You see? Yeah, I see. It's that magic Roberti name. Sure. Look, you don't suppose that... What? Mm, nothing. Come on, let's go. <laughs> They do pass them in here, don't they? Hmm? Johnny, you are in love. Or something. I'm sorry, I was looking to see if I knew anyone. What did you say? Mm, nothing important. I'm awfully glad you insisted on Rico. I insisted. You had terrified me, but I suppose I'll have to get used to it. Now, now where's the man with our table? Rico will be right here. 
coming now. Johnny. Now what? I forgot to call Mr. Yorkman. My concerto is all ready for orchestration. It's a prize to find. Yorkman's looking it over, and I promised to phone tonight. Johnny, you don't mind. I'll be only a minute. Take your time. There's a phone right over there. That's funny to prove. Thanks. I've got a little item here that should interest you. Oh, excuse me. I'll be here in a second, honey. Mm. Well, I just happened to pick up a newspaper, and what do you suppose it says in Harper's column? Of course it's about you. Listen. Which of our popular socialites is frequently being conducted about by the ablest conductor in town? Can it be that she's trying to acquire an interest in dash, dash, music? <laughs> of course there ought to be a law against it. Hmm? Oh, sure, I can just see the headlines. Fran Gilberti's Fox columnist over crack at Dee Dee Lennox Smith. Huh? Rodrigo. Who is? Uh, no one yet, but he'll be here any minute. Well, don't be cross, darling. It's Fran. What, Dee Dee? Well, you've got some nerve talking to me like that. Well, now, don't be silly. It's just that I'm... Johnny. Johnny. Well, Fred? Johnny, take me home, please. What's wrong? The Bjorkman... Oh, I didn't phone. It's just that... Oh, please, I want to get out of here. Well, sure. <laughs> Johnny. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah, look who's here. Darling, what is this? I turn my back and my wife is out with another man. But I'm not doing so well. We just got here and now she wants to go home. I'm darling, what's wrong? Nothing. I just don't like it here. Well, then let's go somewhere else. You can't very well do that, can you, Fran? Oh. At the rehearsal, well, we broke early. Oh, it's all right. You'll find her inside of the telephone. I'm sorry, Fran. Terribly sorry. May I come in, Anne? Yes. Anne. Please don't go. Please don't leave me. There's nothing to stay for, Fran. We're finished. Albert, would you mind taking these bags downstairs? Uh, yes, of, of course. Or at least wait till tomorrow, and Believe me, it was nothing. Nothing. You lied to me. You were afraid to let me know. Oh, but, darling... Please don't touch me. I'm sorry, too, Fran. But I'll get over it and so will you. You're not going, Annie. You're my wife. Your wife? That's not enough for me. Why did you marry me, Fran? Because I love you. You shouldn't have attempted to tie yourself down. You were so right. Beautiful things don't last. Things were different then. You know they were different. Yes, I wasn't your wife then. You didn't have to lie to me. Well, I'm not your wife anymore. You can be honest again. Your friends are dirty again. Goodbye. I won't let you go, Anne. Let me. Anne. Goodbye, Anne. A half year has gone by since Anne left her husband, and every effort to find her has failed. Only Johnny Lawrence continues the search. But Anne has no wish to be found. She's gone to Chicago, changed her name, and found work at a second-rate music publisher. But neither time nor new surroundings can drive France from her mind. Hey, Vicky. Yeah? This here ain't a bad tune. Thanks for the tip. You want to hear it on the piano? Oh, sure, sure. With a trick arrangement, I'll murder him. Who says you need a trick arrangement? Okay, okay. Get somebody to run it over for me, will you? Hey, where's that dame was here last week? She's terrific. Macaulay? Yeah, Macaulay. Tell her Baker's here, will you? I'll be glad to. Thanks, sister. As soon as she gets back from lunch. Jerry? Yeah? Room five with a new boogie woogie. Baker's coming in. Room five, Mr. Baker. Okay, and tell that dame I was asking for her, man. Yes, sir? Oh, uh, how do you do? Yes, sir? My name's... No song pluggers, please. Well, don't worry. I can't carry a tune. Hardly anybody that comes in here can. Look, I'm from New York. I've been trying to find a girl. I think maybe she's working here. I don't know anything about her. Well, I got a wire from an investigator. He said he thinks he's traced her here. I said I don't know anything about her. 
of course, I can go to the police. Okay. What's her name? Rebetti. Mrs. Franz Rebetti. You kidding? You know her? Why, sure. She's out in the park riding a tandem bicycle with Beethoven. Now, what would Mrs. Roberti be doing here? I don't know. I'm sorry to bother you. Bye. 